guys, how are you? My name is David Franco and welcome to the weekend of Lockety Vlog. You may be wondering, what the heck is happening right now? Was that magic? In a way, yes. It's my autonomous L-shaped smart desk. Let's talk about it. Guys, I hope you are having a fantastic start to your 2021. Yeah, I know, I know. There's a little bit of craziness happening already in Washington. People just can't be responsible, you know? Stay home, stay home. You got way, way too much time on your hands. Anyway, guys, welcome to the weekend of Locative Vlog. Me, personally, I had a great week. I had an extremely productive week, an extremely tiring week. <laughs> um, I went to bed at 6 a.m., thought, well, like, probably three times this week. Um, if I say this week one more time. Anyway, um, yeah, it's no secret, guys. My office is already receiving some major major changes for 2021. Let's talk about what's changing exactly. And there it is. This is my pride and joy. The biggest change to my office ever. This is the autonomous L-shaped smart desk. Heavy emphasis on L-shaped because this is actually quite the unique desk in overall style, functionality, and especially price. Let me just say this real quick. And then I'll take you guys on a tour. If you look around online, I think the average, and please, let's quote the word average, because there's not a ton of, you know, standing desks that are L-shaped. So yeah, like, I mean, if you look online, the average motorized standing desk, L-shaped standing desk, is probably over a thousand dollars. But autonomous, they are actually willing to let us go for around 700 And I'm not saying that as a partner, because I'm not, I'm not sponsored by them yet. I might have something in the works, to be you know honest with you guys. But partnership or not, whatever, I talk about good products when I see them. And this is definitely, without a doubt in my mind, the most high-quality desk I've ever used in my life. This isn't going to convey well on video, but even clicking the mouse on here or typing, it feels more solid coming from your typical desk on Amazon. All right, anyway, let's take you guys on a tour. As you probably saw in the intro, you guys are sitting right over here. So check out how long or how wide and how deep it is. Like there is so much depth, guys. Look, arm's length, and I'm not even touching the iMac. Incredible. Anyway, as you probably saw in the intro, this does indeed have presets. Number one is my default sitting position. Number two is standing. Check it out. Isn't that cool? And what's even cooler is, check this out guys, you can just slide your desk. You're, yeah. This is a desk guys. This is a revolutionary desk that looks like a chair. It looks like a crappy chair. Anyway, yeah, look, you can slide your chair under the desk and boom. Hey guys, let me show you how cool this is. Watch this, ready? Simulation time. Let me just, you know, casually walk into my office and go right over here and work. How cool is that? Like, that is so cool. All right, so I'm not gonna pretend to be the most in shape person, because I'm not. I'm, I'm still on track to losing weight, though. And thank you guys so much for all the compliments on the Christmas video, and especially the Xbox Series X video. Um, I've had a few people say, David, it's noticeable you're losing weight. Thank you. Thank you. I truly, truly do appreciate that. What am I getting at with this? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a standing desk. That's, that's no secret. But um, I'm going to make my promise to you guys right now. As much as I love sitting on my butt, trust me, I love sitting. I, I do so much of it, but I do too much of it. That's the thing. And you probably do too much of it, too. There's just smudge my lens. Hold on. It's driving me crazy. There you go. Much better. All right, so let's make it a mutual goal between you and myself, all right? Let's start standing more throughout the day. Let's, I mean, even for like a half hour or an hour every day while working. Because honestly, guys, it does feel nice to stand up. I mean, just imagine yourself making a video, like if you're a fellow creator like myself on YouTube, Twitch, whatever. Mixer. <laughs> Got him. Anyway, um... Isn't it nice when you stand and you use your hands and you're just animated and you can move around freely? Whereas with a chair, you're kind of like, yeah, it's comfortable. I mean, hopefully considering you have a good chair. I don't right now, but I do have another chair in there. Stay tuned. 
Yeah, it's it's okay. He just feels so confined. Stand up, guys. You know, stand up. Let's start moving around. Let's get in shape. So that's one huge benefit of this desk. Also, this. This is this is a nice added bonus. Well, first of all, this isn't even the max height. It goes much higher. Look at that. But anyway, at its max height, this is a nice bonus. Getting underneath the desk and managing cables. Because look, this desk actually does include this cable tray, which is the best cable tray I have ever used. Like, it's solid metal, it's heavy, it's extremely sturdy, and it's very wide. Look at that. The um, typical cable tray that I use is maybe about this wide. So this is at least double that average width, and I love it, guys. The desk also includes some cable management strips. So I have um, one motor cable going over there, and the other motors are just going directly into there since they're so close to the cable tray. And of course, there's the control box. So let me bring that down to level one, which is my preferred level. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. It got really close to the chair, but obviously on purpose because I saved that. But uh, okay, okay, tour time. So lamp, don't know if it's staying here yet, but I mean, I think, I think it looks pretty good. This I got at Target the other night. Figured I'd treat myself to a few um, office related items. This camera doesn't stay here, that's gonna go over there. But for now, let's just put it right here. There's my 27 inch 2020 um, 5K iMac, which could be replaced as early as this year if we get one of those M1X rumored iMacs. So we'll see. Blue Yeti microphone. Office 365 calendar provided by you guys. Thank you very much. And by the way, the desk is massive if you can't tell. Like, it is huge. It is so, so large. I bought this big plant from Target as well. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Obviously, it's fake. If it was real, it would, it would be dead by now. No joke. Because I'm not good at taking care of plants. I like plants, but I'm not good at taking care of them. And no, this is not staying here. This is temporary. This, I believe, is going to go over there. I might be getting a white bookcase in the near future. I mean, like, everything in here is changing, guys. The dark gray walls contrast beautifully with white. Do they not? I mean, look at that. It just looks so, so good. So those are coming out of here. I'm going to be getting some white furniture. One solid piece, like one single piece, I should say, uh, rather than two shelves, because that's just what worked out best before, because you got to keep in mind... My uh, walls were white. What up, Doc? He's doing that Tarkov stream soon. So anyway, that's my next furniture purchase, hopefully next week. And this, I think I'll be replacing as well with a white bookcase. And this I'll actually be unboxing today, the MX Master 3. So let's put that here as a reminder. Got these in this week, two desk mats. These are very, very close in size. They are curled on the side a little bit, but that's always going to happen with, with these desk mats. Um, so far, I like them. I like them. I do. The surface is a little rough on the Magic Mouse. It's not as smooth as my old one was. But that's the thing. My, my old desk mat, yeah, it was a lot smoother. But it had a stitched border going around. So sometimes my wrist would touch that little nub or whatever you want to call it. That uh, groove, which definitely bothered me. I think I think I truly am OCD with certain things. Like I, I don't like my wrist or my shoulders or anything like that touching unnecessary items. Um, so I like for this to be as clean and flat as possible. So um, anyway, yeah, I love the design. It looks great. It even smells kind of nice. But yeah, the friction, we'll see. This mouse depends on whether I keep these mats. If this mouse glides better than the Magic Mouse, then I'll keep these mats. And if not, then I'll put them in storage. Not a big deal, not a big deal. And plus it's my excuse to spend even more money on Amazon, right? This is my Amazon Basics temporary chair. It's terrible. One of the worst chairs I've ever used in my life. Like, it's, it's bad, guys. It seriously lost its softness, its, its cushion within months, so I got this, which is actually kind of nice, it's quite quite comfortable, but that's the thing, I'm always having to adjust myself uh, because it's not really that ergonomic, like it's plushy, look at that, 
it's kind of like memory foam. An excuse to fur. I have a, I have a cat, Maui. Come on. I mean, it's going to happen. But it's still that. Like, it's a separate cushion. It's, it's not part of the chair, so it's not completely comfortable. It's 2 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock. Thank you, Mr. McIntosh. Why so serious? But anyway, stay tuned for news on that. Here's the other mats, which is a little curly, but that's okay. iPad Pro. Let me bring up my stocks. I haven't done that today yet. Stock market is killing it this week, guys. 85.97. Yesterday alone, I made about $500 with Tesla. About $500. Yesterday was a very, very good day. This plant is not staying here. That's just temporary. So, um, yeah, there you go. There's my setup. As you can see, I don't have a lot going on yet, which I kind of prefer. Um, but this is definitely a good start. I do want to get myself a nice 4K or 5K 27-inch display to go over here. That way I can finally go back to dual monitors. So that will be going over here. Oh, also, I forgot to mention. These I bought separate. These are white powered grommets. I think the white blends in very, very nicely with the um, autonomous smart desk. So I have one over here and one over there. One outlet on each and two USB ports on each, which is really, really convenient. And I'll be using that all the time. But anyway, I like the L shaped form factor for one main reason. Well, two main reasons. I, I like having a corner to face over here for like the TV, eating lunch and all that stuff. But the bigger reason is I like the idea of having separate workstations, like my main computer over here, my main setup, and then over here I could use my iPad Pro, MacBook, MacBook Pro, or even have a great angle for recording videos, which is great. Like, I, I love this. I could literally just put the camera right here and talk to you guys about anything I want. It's huge. So I guess that's three reasons. But yeah, this is pretty much a perfect desk for me. It's not perfect in design, but it's perfect for me. The only major flaw I have is this. This isn't perfectly aligned, which definitely bothers me, but it is what it is. As I mentioned in my actual autonomous video, and that should be out soon, you know, where I go through the building process and breakdown process of my old setup with my new setup and blah, blah, blah. I mentioned in that video that this is out of sync out of out of alignment but i do have a powered hub station of some kind from autonomous that i'm going to mount right here and that will actually set up the illusion of this being aligned god my hand looks so bad in the shadow doesn't it just looks weird there you go anyway little little self-conscious there so cool stay tuned and i do have some leds coming from amazon tomorrow but that's not all guys this also arrived from Autonomous yesterday. This is the Autonomous A211 Mayo chair in black with headrest and leg rest. Very, very heavy box, about 80 pounds. So I'm gonna build that today. And there's my Series X, my baby, love it. Now do you see what I mean by I've been busy this week? I got so much done. I also took down my Christmas stuff did a bunch of clientele work. I rebuilt the L-shaped desk that I had in my office up in my gaming room because I have some major setup changes coming there in the coming weeks. That's gonna be an even bigger change. My stream is literally gonna be shut down for a whole week because I'm gonna be moving things around like crazy. It's gonna be a ton of work, but for me, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Go Tesla, go. Over $300 today alone. That is so cool. That is so, so cool. This money I'm making from my Tesla investments is going towards my actual Tesla. It's pretty cool. It's pretty sweet. And as you can see, Dogecoin is just killing it today, guys. So yeah. Believe the hype, they said. That's okay. I'm patient. I'm optimistic. We'll see what happens. But if anything, like if you're a serious investor, you're going to invest in companies like Tesla, not Dogecoin. Dogecoin for me is more of like a fun investment. Tesla and Apple are serious investments. And even then, Apple Apple doesn't really make me a ton of money. Like, Tesla's where it's at. Okay, back to work. I'm gonna finish drinking my coffee, watch some of Doc's stream. I do have a client to email right now regarding a business card design, so I'm gonna get that done now. Doc. How have you had to and then we'll unbox this in a bit. Stay tuned. God, those bookcases are ugly. I need to get them replaced ASAP. 
Anyway, I wanted to say this real quick. Watching Doc makes me want to play Tarkov. I could do that. But I know I'll just get frustrated. Such a good game, but man, it makes me mad. Anyway, check this out. This could be my next sponsored product review. The Cohen SE7 Active Noise Cancelling Bluetooth Headphones. Currently we are negotiating to see if we can agree on a price. Sometimes I do paid reviews. And if I do, um, I make sure to always check the box on YouTube that says this is a paid product promotion or something like that. But paid or not paid, I'm always going to tell you whether I like or dislike something. So that could be fun. Check this out. Enjoy this site, okay? Enjoy that. Inbox zero. <laughs> what a beautiful thing. Give it a minute or two. Here, I'll turn the volume up. That way you guys can actually hear the sound. Wait for it. Wait for it. You know what? While we wait to get another email, let's unbox these. Feeling good today, guys. It's been a productive week, that's for sure. And I'm actually feeling okay again. This desk is amazing, but man, building it was so much work. My body was aching the next day. But physical labor is good. Gotta keep slimming down this face, you know? Speaking of, oh my god, I had amazing Chinese food last night from this sushi place on Uber Eats. Dear lord. It wasn't as good as Wu's Garden. Unfortunately, Wu's Garden isn't on Uber Eats, Eats Pass. Uh, but this sushi place is, and oh my god. The chicken and broccoli with egg drop soup. <sighs> Food's not allowed to be that good. Like, it was delicious. There you guys. I'm going to unbox this. Let me get my knife. What's up, Doc? You want to fight? I cross this? I, I would never fight Doc. You only walk it? He would kick my butt. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go, baby. Here we go. Got this for Christmas. Yes, today is January 8th. I'm just now opening it. It's actually not that bad, guys. I've waited longer. There's still stuff in my closet from Christmas 2019. Not because I don't like it. Just because I'm, I'm not going to unbox something just to unbox it. Uh, but now that my gaming room is being redone in the coming weeks, I'm going to have a lot more room since my countertop is going by my door. Uh, which means I can fit so many more things. So I can finally build things like that Kinect roller coaster and stuff like that, and the Mario Kart thing. I'm gonna open that finally, dude. I have a feeling he's about to die. Watch. Okay, here we go. Keep in mind, I do have the MX Master 2S. Great mouse. Little overhyped in my opinion. People act like it's the second coming. It's 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 a it's a good mouse, but it's not like blowing my mind. But I will say it was packed with features. Absolutely packed with features. The Magic Mouse is pretty good too. Definitely not for everyone. I mean, ergonomically, it's terrible. Like th this is a terrible mouse. Speaking in terms of ergonomics alone, but features like the the gestures and everything work really really well with Mac OS. They're not perfect. Sometimes I do gestures by accident, but it is what it is. Anyway, I, I just want a better mouse, like an ergonomic mouse for my Photoshopping and uh, stuff like that. And I also have my Magic Trackpad 3, uh, 2. Sorry, Magic Trackpad 2. I, I just leaked the product. Tim Cook, please. Yeah, I just, I just want to give you a heads up. I accidentally said Magic Trackpad 3 in the video, and I believe you're releasing that in March, right? Late March? No, no, wait, wait, wait. So you're saying edit it out of the vlog? No! Tim Cook? I'm switching the windows. Here you go, guys. The Logitech MX Master 3. It's not normally that yellow. Mm -hmm. just, I have my yellow lamp on. Pretty cool. So let's take the sticker off. I feel like some of these I don't need. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Very nice. Very, very nice. Unfortunately, it's not Bluetooth. I will say it's very light. Oh, wait. Hold on. How does it glide? Magic Mouse? Magic Mouse is noticeably... Like, noticeably rougher. This is, well, I don't know. 
It's not the mouse's fault by any means. It's the desk mat. It's just, it's too leathery, you know? I might, I might get some more on Amazon today. Not that I haven't really bought coffee and headphones and stuff like that already, but that's okay. Uh, spend more money, you know? Yes, I bought earbuds, wireless earbuds. I'll explain why. There is the new mouse. Fits really well. It, it feels very, very similar to the Logitech MX Master um, 2S. This is actually a button right here. Listen to this. Hold on. Hear that? It's very quiet. So basically, you can press your thumb down for shortcuts like mission control and stuff like that. Um, you can launch certain apps. This is a wheel right here, which I actually might use for editing in Final Cut. We also have a wheel right here, which does lock if it's like my other one. You can lock it into like um, clicks, or you can just have it infinitely scroll, which is pretty cool. Okay, obviously not literally infinitely, that's physically impossible. Um, we also have buttons on the side here for forward and back, or again, anything you want. The software really is incredible. Like you can you can do a lot with this mouse, um, and it has profiles, three profiles on the bottom right there. So if you're sharing this mouse with someone, or maybe you want to switch between like a video editing profile, Photoshop profile, whatever, then you can. So this button can do something different on profile one than it can on profile two or three. So that's that's actually kind of huge. Am I going to be using that? No, no. Realistically, no. Um, but it is really nice to have it there for you if you uh, need it. And I think that's USB-C, I'm pretty sure. I actually haven't finished the unboxing yet. Here's the receiver. So, boom. I don't think it's Bluetooth. This could just be like their wireless receiver. If it was Bluetooth, it would say on the box somewhere. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's Bluetooth. The MX Master 2S wasn't Bluetooth either. Oh wait, it says Bluetooth? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Will this work by default? I am so sorry guys, hold on. Go to Bluetooth preferences. Say if this shows up. Oh wow! Wow, wow, wow! What? It is Bluetooth, I did not know that. I am so sorry guys, I'm just used to Logitech using these little dongles. I have so many of these dongles around the house. Just like in storage and whatever. Okay, hold on. I was adjusting the camera, but did you hear that? There you go, email, told you. So hold on, I am so sorry, I don't like giving out false information. Did the Logitech MX Master 2S have Bluetooth? Bluetooth or USB? Wait, so why did I use the dongle? Maybe I had poor Bluetooth like interference or something. Or maybe all this time I could have used the built-in Bluetooth. I don't know. I just learned something new today, guys. I mean, come on. How many of you have used a Logitech mouse in the past and you were required to use this little dongle, right? Many, many times. This little thing is very common. So I'm, I'm, I'm obsessing over something so stupid. I have two mice connected right now. All right, so cool. There you go. Uh, MX Master 3 is officially unboxed. And yes, it is indeed a USB-C cable. I'm actually going to leave it like this because that looks really nice. I, I like things being organized. This is just going to go in storage. Actually, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug this in right now. Ignore what I say. You know, I, I tend to say things that are opposite. I claim to be a tech geek, but sometimes I just don't know what I'm talking about. You know, it happens. No, but seriously, it, it just, it's whatever. Actually, I'm gonna plug this into one of my grommets to charge it. I'm not even gonna plug this into my iMac. So we're gonna plug this in over here temporarily, just just to charge it, nothing else. Boom. And that, my friends, is why it's so nice, so nice having powered grommets in your desk, not on your desk, in your desk. It's such a little thing, but man, does it make a huge difference. That is so, so convenient. And look, it's charging. Boom. Very cool. I'm not gonna use this until it's fully charged.
That's my self-proclaimed OCD kicking in. I, I like I like doing things right. But cool, unboxing done, guys. Hold this. Just kidding. I'm in the basement. The eBay shipping center. Which yes, by the way, I will be doing more eBaying this year. And especially Amazon. I've I've had a lot of products on Amazon, but the one product I sold a while ago was like a really cheap video game. And the share of Amazon's revenue versus my revenue, I, I think I ended up losing like a dollar on, on profit, you know? Like, I was like, what? Whereas with eBay, I typically make money. Uh, but I think that was just a bad first experience with Amazon because people make a lot of money on Amazon. But at the same time, a lot more things are more suitable for eBay than they are Amazon, you know? So uh, anyway... The point is, I will continue selling in 2021, this year. So I made a sale, finally. God, I got these. I think these are the first items I ever bought for retail arbitrage. There's a term you haven't heard of me say in a while. Retail arbitrage. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, uh, Rodon. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. And King Ghidorah. Um, both of those figures for $18 plus $13.27 shipping. Definitely paid a lot for shipping. But they're quite big. Hold on, let me let me get these out. I'm actually surprised I haven't sold these filters yet. I thought uh, I don't know. I just thought they would sell pretty quickly. And these figures, <laughs> these these figures haven't sold either. I have so much stuff down here. So much stuff. Actually, if I'm eligible on Amazon, I, I might just list these on Amazon. Example stuff like this, I think, is much more suitable for Amazon than eBay. But the thing is, Amazon doesn't allow you to sell everything at first you know you have, you have to be um, accepted because you're gated for a lot of things so here's King Ghidorah again I believe one of the first things I ever bought for retail arbitrage if not the first and Rodon that's how I say it some people might say Rodin I don't know I just, I just say Rodon pretty cool so both of these sold for $18 combined. I forget how much I paid. It's it's online somewhere. I don't really track my eBay stuff anymore. It, it just doesn't really matter to me right now. Uh, but hey, I mean, as long as I saw something and I profit, boom. And obviously I profited because I wouldn't have priced it that way. So let me see. Uh, print shipping label. So my eBay discount, check this out. It would have cost me $18.30. And for those not aware, if you're selling an eBay, you actually, um, no, you automatically get a discount with USPS shipping. They discounted me $5.43. That's a steep discount for shipping. It went from $18.30 down to $12.87. And keep in mind, the uh, buyer paid more than $12.87. So at the same time, I'm profiting on not only the item, but shipping as well, which is important. And it's going to New Jersey. Pretty cool. Carlstadt? Where's that? I mean, it sounds familiar. Maybe North Jersey. And they paid me $31.27. Not bad for two, two figures, you know? Granted, they, that took more than a year to sell, but I sold them. And yes, I do have plenty of inventory still. Plenty of inventory. Not bad. And all this shipping material. So yeah, I mean, I, I get the question now and then. David, are you still doing eBay? Absolutely. Yes, I am. As a matter of fact, this is the kind of stuff that sells on Amazon all the time. So I think I'm going to start listing, guys. eBay's great. I mean, I've actually made probably a couple thousand dollars on eBay so far. As a part-time seller, that's not bad. But I think I can make even more money on Amazon with brand new pro uh, products like that. I was going to say projects. I've had nothing to eat today except for coffee and water and some tomato juice. But th that's not food, so please, ignore my stupidity. I need food! And there we go. You hear that? Exactly. Very, very tight packaging. It's not breakable or anything. But they might be collectors, so I just want to make sure the boxes aren't, aren't going to move at all. Let me put this stuff back. What do I want to say? Oh, so my, my discount actually dropped by like maybe 50, 80 cents because shipping was actually cheaper.
than I thought because I, I charged him $4 worth of shipping, whereas it ended up being 3 pounds and 10 ounces. So, not bad. Not bad. eBay's fun, guys. It's fun. For me, packaging is, uh, it's not the most enjoyable thing, but sometimes it's a little therapeutic. Like when you, when you find the perfect size box for something, it's just satisfying, you know? All right, let's go. From one thing to the next. I'm going to schedule that to be picked up mañana. Now let's build my chair. It's a big box. Okay. By the way, you actually can sit on this desk as long as you're under, I think, what, 330 pounds is, is, is the weight limit? <sighs> Part of me wants to try it, but no, 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 no. It, it's still new. I'm, I'm still under that mindset, you know, where I want to keep it as perfect as possible. Let's unbox this. I'm not going to go into detail, guys, like I did with my actual smart desk video. Um, but I'll definitely be talking about the chair shortly. But first, let's say hi to Zero. Hi Z! You chillin'? He loves his heated house, guys. Seriously, he literally begs just, just to come out here, and then he goes into his house. Right Z? You're a spoiled key! Uncle Boy? Hi! Yeah, you tired? I know, tough life, tough life. Hold on, feeling it? It's really nice out. If I had to guess, 39? 34, oh, okay, 34, 34, cool, I like it. I might test the pot function of my Keurig K-Duo. I got this this week at Target. Folgers Classic Roast. Haven't had this stuff in a long time. And I'm going to play Xbox later uh, while preheating my Popeye. Yes, I'm eating at home tonight. Got that chicken Popeye. Boom. It's been a while. And I have another unboxing to do of that later. And I got cat litter. I got paper towels. <laughs> cat food. That's the USPS pickup tomorrow. A lot of packages this week. All right. Let's focus on the chair, though. As much as I love autonomous, I'm not going to lie. Like, building a chair for me isn't that exciting. I've, I've built many chairs, but I'm excited to own the chair because this thing is just a dumpster. Where's my knife? Seriously, where's my knife? Why do I misplace it all the time? It's usually in here. This is kind of like my junk drawer right here. It's usually in here. Got a bunch of random things, including a lighter. I don't smoke, but I think Danny actually gave this to me. Hold on, I'm a righty. There you go, much better. Speaking of Danny, check it out, dude. Oh my, I'm getting mad. It's your SD card. All right, there you go. Can't find my knife, guys. Getting a little annoyed at myself. I'm usually very organized, but this week I've been just doing so many things with that knife. So clearly, I misplaced it. I don't need it. I have scissors. Wasn't I just down here? They do the ergo chair too, just a heads up. That's, that's kind of like their most popular chair. This is the Mayo chair. Affordable, yet quality. So, we'll see how it is. Yeah, Lord, there's a war going on. Little building kit, all the hardware. Very nice. A lot of cardboard, like a ton of cardboard. I'm just gonna dump everything out, guys.
That is not how you properly unbox. Just for the record. Look at it all. It's <laughs> just hanging out. And so we got that T screwdriver packed with C gas lift. Got some armrests. This is the headrest. Which is optional. The leg rest is optional too. I don't know what that is. I'll figure it out. All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna start building, guys. I'll be back. Wish me luck. All right, there you have it. Not bad. I did sit in it already, but I'm gonna do it again for you guys. Gotta be honest, right off the bat, it feels a little stiff at first, but. A, a good kind of stiff, if that makes sense. It, it, it's got that new feeling where you got to work it in, but it definitely does not feel like hard stiff like that, where my butt literally just goes like right through the cushion and onto like the plastic of the chair. This is the complete opposite. It kind of feels like a new couch, if that makes sense. You know that feeling like your, your cushions at first are stiff, you just got to work them in. So yeah, it's definitely nice, definitely a nice um, improvement. So here are the armrests. They can raise and lower, which is always a nice plus. Always a nice plus. I'm going to put them like right, probably there. Eh, maybe a little higher. We'll see, we'll see. We got a little lumbar support right here, which was in the way at first. Thankfully, it goes up and down. So I think higher up is good for my usage. Keep looking at my gut. Headrest is pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna use the headrest a lot, honestly. I've never been a huge headrest person, but it came with the leg rest. So I figured, why not? Uh, but this is cool, check it out. So on the bottom, we have a leg rest. You just pull it out like this. You can even see, pull, you can't see. This is terrible, terrible vlog. Pull it out like this. It's good enough, right? Flip it up. And then, this camera sucks donkey penis, dude. God, my Canon 80D spoils me. It's just so wide angle. You know what, let's try that again. Reset, here we go. Boom. 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 Not bad. It's not bad. Now, will I be using this function every single day? Of course not. But there are those moments where I want to watch TV or whatever and just chill at my desk or watch a YouTube video on my iMac. It's pretty nice. Haven't really tested too many controls yet. Hold on. This is how, okay, yeah, this is obviously height. Pretty standard stuff. What does this one do? There you go. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, cool. So, okay, okay. So basically, you pull this lever, right? Kind of reset it. Okay, so you set it with your back and then flip the switch down. Hold on. And it locks it in place. There you go. It's a, it's a new chair. I gotta, I gotta learn it. That's not bad. Not, not bad at all. I do wish the armrests could move back because once you're lounging, you might want your arms a little back. But, uh, not a, not a deal breaker. I mean, you have to keep in mind, this chair was like a hundred and something dollars, so, which isn't crazy. This, this isn't their best chair. But, uh, you know what? This might get me to buy the Ergo chair too. Because that, that's, that's like their most popular chair by far. But yeah, not bad. Much better than an Amazon Basics chair, that's for sure. Cool, just gotta work in the cushion. Yeah, I could, I could see this lasting me for a long time. And if you wanna put the leg rest back in, you just flip it down like that, and you push it in. So it's not like you can even see it. Pull it back out, flip it, boom, you're good. I do wish this was black, but that's, that's not a big deal. Not bad, not bad at all. 
and the building process was quite easy. The only time I got frustrated is when I had to do something on the bottom, but that's because I didn't follow instructions. It was a it was a user error. Where is it? Uh, right here. Oh, okay. When it says to use Q here, I thought we had to use Q on all four holes, but now it's Q on the front two and P on the rear two. So Q and P are very, very different. Um, I just assumed it was Q and all four, but now don't assume. You know what they say about assuming, right? I'm not gonna say it in this vlog, but cool. Autonomous desk, which is far, far more exciting. I mean, guys, let's be honest, it's just a chair. Uh, but yeah, autonomous desk, autonomous chair, and I have an autonomous powered desk clamp coming next week, and I have the autonomous cable tray under there, and I have this autonomous cable tray for my next autonomous desk, Smart Desk 2. Premium, XL, very wide. What can I say? Autonomous is my newest obsession. Very smooth chair, my god, like very, very smooth turning. It's super smooth. Who dat? Hold on one second. It's a great chair, okay? Okay? The leg rest might have to go. I don't know. Like, it's cool. It's definitely very nice to just do this. Actually, it, it's very nice. I love that. The only thing that can be very annoying to me is this. Let me give you a lovely shot of my legs. I don't, I don't know if you can see that. My legs are hitting this, so I actually wish it went back a little further. So the fact that my legs are hitting this while I'm working, that's definitely a little frustrating. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna leave the leg rest here all weekend to see how I feel. I'm just being honest with you guys, you know? The chair overall feels great. Like, this is very, very comfortable. Yeah, it's just that the leg rest is a bonus, so it's not like you need to get the leg rest. And I can easily take it off, which is really nice. So, in a way, this chair is modular. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Hey, Google. Turn on my Xbox. Sure, turning Xbox on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I'm dancing. It was a, it was a terrible night. I'm just kidding. And yes, it's been hours, guys. Absolutely hours since I vlogged. I'm so sorry. Uh, because I'm only using one battery this weekend. I don't know where my spare batteries are. I have to look around. They might be in my MacBook bag. Yeah, the Xbox is on, guys. Hey, Siri. What time is it? It's 4.06 a.m. It's 4.06 a.m. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. Play some Call of the Sea, which is on Game Pass. Check it out. It's a very relaxing, mysterious, puzzle-solving game. Very beautiful game. It's just chill, you know? Sometimes I just want to do this. Chill on my couch and play games like Call of the Sea and King Oddball. King Oddball, like, it doesn't get more casual than that. But man, is it fun. Anyway, um, yeah, typically I'd go to like 6, 7 in the morning, but we just were not having good games tonight. From Random Cheaters in Warzone, which... Yeah, they're not as uh, apparent as they used to be. Um, we ran into one or two, which sucks. We were just getting bad drops, bad loot. I mean, we had some good plays, but we, we got zero wins. And that's, that's unlike us, seriously. Like, Wednesday night, we got four wins in Warzone. Tonight, we got zero. Zero. It is what it is. And um, I was like, you know what, chat? Oh, and by the way, my, my OBS, my streaming PC, crashed like three times. OBS gets worse and worse with each up with each update on my setup. I don't know why. I can't figure it out. It drives me crazy. But you know what? Surprisingly, I was calm. You know, I was calm. It is what it is. Sometimes tech fails. Sucks, but that's life. Anyway, guys, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my nights with some coffee. Yes, at 4 in the morning. I don't care. I'm doing it. I'll see you guys later today. Thank you for your support. I do appreciate it. Guys, happy Saturday. For real this time. Hey, Google. What time is it? The time is 4.15. 4.15 p.m. <laughs> Finally went to bed around 7, 7.30 in the morning. Got sucked into gaming down here. Got sucked into gaming upstairs. I hooked up one of my older Xbox Ones. It's really not that old. Um, purely to play King Oddball and some more casual games in bed, but 
I'm once again going through my addiction of King on Ball. For those who don't know, it's a great game. It, it, it's a very casual, physics-based game. I think developed by Ten Tons is her, is her, is her name. And it's, it's, it's kind of like the game that I install on all my new consoles and um, systems in, in general. Except for my iPhone. I have not installed it on my iPhone, I think because I don't want to get addicted during the day while working on my things. But yeah, it's so, so much fun. Super casual game. Super casual. Like, especially if you're used to games like Warzone and Tarkov and whatever. But sometimes it is good to just sit back and not think that much, right? Alright, um, not really doing much today, guys. It's my weekend. I mean, it's, it's your weekend still, uh, too. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, but to get today started, I'm going to unbox three packages. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I love it. Spin move! Still can't find my knife. Don't know where my knife is. Kind of makes me mad that I lose things so easily. All right, number one, 0.9 pounds. This feels heavier than 0.9 pounds. This might be... Oh wait. This is the eBay package that's going out. I just took it back inside. I am so glad to see USPS came by and picked up the package. You gotta be kidding me. Absolutely ridiculous. USPS is typically very good. Like, they're very, very good in, in this area. But sometimes, like, they just straight up forget to pick up packages. I'll just leave it out there. I'll just assume they'll come by later. And if not, then I'll try again on Monday. So obviously, I can't go to the post office now. They're, they're closed. I think they close at, like, 1 o'clock on a Saturday. Okay, um, back to the packages. This should be the LED kit for my desk yep which I might hook up like right now just just to get it done so this one's a little more expensive than your typical kit it was it was still only like 24 25 dollars um, but you can get your typical LED kit for what like 12 to 18 dollars the reason this one's a little more expensive is because it works with uh-huh hey ho ho and yeah not, not, not Siri, which is fine, which is fine, because I, I use my um, Nest Hub, you know, the most in my house, uh, but I also have a Nest Hub, like a regular sized Nest Hub coming next week, which I'm hyped about. Got it for free. I'll explain how later. So, cool. So now I can say, hey, woo, 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 turn on my office lights or office desk lights, whatever we're going to call it. So, very cool, and I'll link this exact product right below. Treat yourself, guys. Come on, baby. Treat yourself. Stop coming up with excuses. You only live once. And this... Oh. These are the replacement headphones from Lenovo. They're just going to reimburse me the cost. Yes. These are the replacement earbuds for the ones that I accidentally cooked during the week. Yes, you heard me right. I accidentally cooked a review product in my toaster oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for like 12 minutes. Patrons, you know why. And, and, and if you don't know why, hey baby, pledge right below, I appreciate it. So, there you go. Hey, this stuff happens. <laughs> An extremely rare occurrence, but it does happen. I'm actually going to save these boxes because they're nice and small. I'll put this away later. Oh my god, guys, I am legit hungry. I can feel my stomach just growling like a mother. I'm gonna have a little bit of the uh, yogurt to get my day started. Yeah, it's already like dinner time. I'm going. I'm going to Target and Sheets later, and some tomato juice. Doesn't take much to please me. I'm a simple guy. At least in terms of food. But tech, I'm very picky. As I should be. I'm meteorologist Alex O'Brien, News 5. <laughs> Starting today, only... <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching news bloopers. I love these. I've seen countless hours of this stuff. 
They're so funny. Anyway, guys, I am done. I gotta say, I have used many LED kits. And I don't mean to make assumptions here, but I think many people will agree with my next statement. And please, I don't mean this in an offensive manner. I'm just keeping it real, telling you how it is. A lot of this stuff is typically, dare I say, Chinese crap. Now, I'm not saying China is bad. China makes a lot of good stuff, but a lot of this stuff is typically Chinese crap. This is not crap. This is actually a good quality product. Like, I'm, I'm actually amazed by this. First of all, the app is beautiful. And by the way, the brand is Govi. Just a beautiful app. I mean, guys, look at this. It's actually a quality app. It's not crap at all. It's well designed. It's beautiful too. You got timers built in, which yeah, it's pretty standard, but that is so cool. There's, there's a brightness slider. This is my first time messing with all this stuff. DIY. Yeah, I haven't really messed with any of these things yet. Music mode, which does react to sound. Sensitivity. Let me see, hold on. Calm. I don't know, scene, dating, oh baby. Sweet, romantic, game. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to buy this kit again for my gaming room upstairs. Well then again, I don't know, I might just get the Hue light strips, which are definitely overpriced, but because I have everything Hue upstairs, I might just keep everything Hue. But this for an office, oh my God, like I'm legit impressed. And of course you do get this remote, so I mean, if you don't wanna use an app, you don't have to. Uh, so there's white, which is always like a cooler white. Being, being um, <clears throat> oh yeah. <clears throat> cooler white. Everything is fine, guys. Let's keep the show going. We got red, green, blue. Uh, let me put it back on white. Blue's bad for the eyes. All right, so to give you an idea of everything I did, I'm gonna clean this up a bit. First of all, you get an onboard controller. So you don't have to use a remote. You don't have to use the app. You can use this controller if you want. And guys, listen to this. Like it's not crappy feeling buttons. Like this actually feels really nice. This feels amazing. I am legit surprised by this. So I'm not trying to give anyone seizures. Let me just put this on regular white mode. And I have the managed um, cables right here. There's the IR sensor, very cool. There's a cable going over there into a, um, an extension cord, because I ran out of outlets that were roomy enough, I guess you could say, because unfortunately it does, it does use a thicker power brick, uh, which is obviously to be expected, because the power is gonna be coming from somewhere. Got the strips going across here. Now the only downside about this is, is the fact that it does not include an anchor. So I had to bend it, which is fine. It's not really gonna hurt it. But yeah, guys, I am very, very impressed. Now let's get the full effect. Yes, my windows are wide open, so I'm like on display for my neighbors. I don't care. So let's turn this off. Turn this off. Let's take the remote. Dude, that is so cool. Can't even see. I don't know, I can't even see. Where's brightness, right here? Okay. So obviously I don't want it too bright. So let's turn that down a little bit. Now on camera, it actually looks brighter than it really is in person. I think right there is about right. Very cool. Guys, I'll say it again, treat yourself. I will link it right below. I am legitimately happy with this purchase. Seriously, th this is not just another LED kit. This is, this is a quality LED kit. God, I'm talking like I'm sponsored, I'm not. Trust me, if I was, then I'd be telling you. Um, I I'm just, I don't know, I just, I just like to recognize a well-designed product. And of course, I'm far from done. Seriously, like I have to make that clear. I am far, far from done. Now I gotta get some LEDs up here to complete the scene. This is actually a smart bulb, by the way. I believe that's a hue bulb. I just keep doing yellow because I think it has that um, calming vibe going on. But yeah, over here, I definitely need something. Maybe even over here. 
But yeah, this is just the beginning. God, that looks good. And look at the cable management, guys. That is impressive. Whoo! This might be the thumbnail right here. Boom. Or up there. Boom. Actually, no, let me let me get my phone out of the way. Let me hide it behind my iPad. Make this look good, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. It's all about that presentation. Just further proof of why I'm loving Game Pass on my Series X, guys. This is Call of the Sea. I mentioned it, I think, earlier today. Really incredible game, full of puzzles. I don't know what I'm doing right here, but check it out. These are clues for, for uh, puzzles I've solved in the past. This one is pretty fun. And apparently a lot of people don't complete these puzzles according to the Xbox achievements. So I don't know if a lot of people just aren't playing this game or the puzzles are just too hard for people. Like this one took me a while, but man, when you complete the puzzles, you just feel smart as hell. Seriously, the puzzles are pretty tough. This one was a lot of fun. I'm not going to tell you how to do it, but man, guys, check this out if you have Game Pass. So this is my nose puzzle. I figured out the frequencies of this machine. Now I somehow have to relate these frequencies to this organ, which will apparently open up a secret temple. And these notes coincide with the notes of the organ, but the notes coincide with the frequencies of that machine. And all of this is in relation to the sea level and this calendar. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. This is what I'm talking about. I love my PC, but man, you can't beat sitting down on a couch with good surround sound. And guys, I will say, the audio design in this game is excellent. It's very, very immersive. And the storyline is actually really interesting. And that means a lot coming from me. I'm not a big storyline guy when it comes to video games. Uh, but this story, I'm actually intrigued. All right, see you guys in the car. Let's go to Target. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want shot copyright. God forbid, you know? All right, guys, I'm at Target. It's that time of the vlog, guys. It's that time. Motion living room. All right, it's either Maui or I'm being robbed. Hopefully it's the former. Thank God. It's only Maui. I don't know if you can even see that. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see him. Yeah. He's like in front of the- yeah, yeah, there he is. He's in front of the steps. <laughs> Look at him chilling. What's he looking at? I love my Nest security system, guys. It's so good. I get cameras all over the house. I get, I get alerts on my phone. I have a Nest doorbell, which is incredible. He's like up against the closet. What a weird cat. I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, guys, it's that time of the vlog where I get to read your comments, the good and the bad. Hopefully more good than bad. People have been really nice lately. At least you guys, my subscribers. I get, I get hate comments all the time on random videos. Take control of 2021. Love that title. By the way, did anyone recognize the uh, symbolism in the name? Because I, I was playing Control on Xbox Series X. Alright, random comment number one goes out to GT. Hey David, you probs tried it already, but don't you prefer ground coffee to pods? I switched to ground last year and love it. That's the thing. Have you had San Francisco Bay? Because I will say this guys, I've had many K-Pod flavors. I've had many single surf flavors or whatever. By far though, my favorite is San Francisco Bay. You know, San Francisco Bay. What you looking at, baby? You want this? You want a piece of this pot roast? I think she wanted me. No, but seriously, uh, yes, trust me. I realize ground coffee is a lot more fresh and a lot more natural and all that stuff. But San Francisco Bay, guys, I'm going to link it right below. It really is good stuff. I have 120 of them coming tomorrow. 120. I'm so excited. But with that said, now that I do have the um, Keurig K Duo, yes, I will be having ground coffee um, quite often. Excellent question, GT. All right, here we go. Boom. Trisha, you're so talented and passionate. Thank you for sharing your life. Oh, thank you, Trisha. Thank you. 
I, I truly do appreciate that because I'm, I'm extremely passionate, you know? I'm just a very outgoing, outspoken. Sometimes my outspokenness can get me into trouble, but it is what it is. You know what? I'd rather be outspoken and have people get angry at me than just keep all my feelings and thoughts bottled up, you know? I just say that because sometimes people don't like when I'm a little too passionate. Let's just say that. But hey, thank you, Trisha. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And boom. Ronnie says Avatar. Avatar. I don't know what you mean by that, dude. Boom. Joe Roberts. Happy New Year. Any plans on going to Seaside this year or Atlantic City? I'm from Jersey, so always enjoy those vlogs. Joe, absolutely. Hopefully. Depending on COVID. Dude, seriously, it's literally because of COVID that we didn't go last year. Uh, seaside, that is. Atlantic City is a little different. It, it's, a, it's a great place to go. It's not as exciting as Seaside, and it's not as close as it used to be. Seriously, it used to be like 45, 50 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on traffic. Um, nowadays, it's at least, what, like two hours away? Which, yeah, isn't crazy. But it has to be like a weekend trip. So, yes, hopefully we will do Atlantic City. Um, if anything... There's a good chance going this year, you know? Seaside should happen. Hopefully. Boom. Lynn, Happy New Year to your growing, amazing family. Thank you, Lynn. And Happy New Year to you as well. Boom. Joe Roberts, I already did you. <laughs> PC Tech and Gaming. David, you've been so excited about your Xbox and Game Pass. Don't forget to give your Switch some love. Happy New Year. Actually, I responded to this one already. Dude. I've, I've been playing my Switch a lot on Twitch. I guess that's just further proof, like, a lot of my YouTube viewers don't even know about my Twitch streams or don't follow me on Twitch, which is completely understandable. Separate fla yeah, platform? Separate platform, so I can understand maybe you're, you're just not interested in using it. And that's just one of several reasons why I will be switching to YouTube streaming in the very near future. So yes, I actually do play my Switch. Lately I've been playing Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, love it. And my next Switch game will be Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Nintendo loves a whole Deluxe thing, don't they? It's the Wii U titles. IK Gray. Love your content, David. What camera do you use? I l Try again, David. I looked at your website, but I didn't see any setup info. I want to start my own channel and love the quality of your vids. Thank you, IK Gray. That's a great point. I should have a setup portion like or, or like a gear portion like a, a little page or even just a section on my website. I do have a kit, kit.ko or com, whatever they use now. Although I don't use it as much as I used to. So I think you may have just inspired me, IK Gray, to actually create a section. But yes, for this video's purpose, I will link this exact camera right below. Check it out. It's a great camera. It's not perfect, but then again, there, there is no perfect camera out there. And boom, Lynn again. It's very clear that you have lost weight. Congrats on that. Thank you, Lynn. Appreciate that. Boom. Pixie's Gaming. Pixie, you're just getting shout-outs left and right lately. <clears throat> awesome video, David, and thank you for the shout-outs. And that is me on your Twitch, the Pixie Dust one. Thank you for your amazing content. Take care. Stay safe. XX. Pixie was actually in my Twitch chat last night, and I followed her on Twitch. You know what, Pixie? I'm going to give you some extra love. Guys, check out Pixie's Twitch right below. Growing on Twitch is not easy. Believe me, it is not easy to grow on Twitch, especially if you don't have an existing audience. So please go over there, show Pixie some love, give her a follow and all that good stuff. Pixie, enjoy. And the last comment, because I really have to go, it's already 7.30. Boom. That's that's one I already read. Boom. H Boys. David, take care of yourself. Everything will get better. I'm I'm actually pretty happy these days, you know? But thank you. You too. All right, one more, one more. Boom. Lynn again. Lynn, you've been commenting a lot, which I like. Uh, Lynn says, I just want to give you credit on the fact that you are involved with your subscribers. Um, you answer comments, mention them in the videos, and much more. That's something few YouTubers do these days. Thanks for that. And I responded to that already. Disclaimer. <clears throat> but I'm going to respond again with what I said here. Thank you, Lynn. I can't reply to everyone, but I certainly take pride in interacting with the community when I can. And plus, it's fun. It is fun. Believe me, I'm not the best at responding to comments. I'm not, I'm not gonna pretend to be perfect with that because sometimes I'll go days or possibly weeks, I don't know, without responding to comments. 
because it's, it's so easy to get distracted with life. Um, but that's exactly why I started this portion of the vlog, is because it's my chance to see comments and interact with you guys in sort of real time. So, there you go, this week's comments. Guys, thank you so much for your support. Keep those comments coming. You never know, I could read yours, I could give you a shout out to your Twitch channel, YouTube channel, or anything, it doesn't hurt. So please, keep those comments coming, I appreciate it. All right, I'm gonna target, I'm gonna make this quick. I'll be right back. I'm getting something big tonight though, something big. It's not that exciting, but it's something I need for the house. It sucks. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Trust me, it really, really does suck. No matter how you look at it. It really sucks. And I'm home. Look how sweet that looks. I definitely need more LEDs though. On the walls and my desktop, whatever. Guys, I'm home. I have some packages that I got at least a week ago. I'm so sorry, I just left them in my car and forgot. I'm gonna unbox them probably tomorrow towards the end of the vlog. So stay tuned, thank you so much. Because I'm back, but oh, wait. I got one more thing. Stay right here. It's big, all right? It's big. It's huge. Sucks. I bought a vacuum cleaner. Not bad, right? Hey, I'm proud of myself for this. I spend all this money on tech, like all this money, but I need to start putting some money back into the house. Which, by the way, okay, first of all, I'm wrong when I say that. I have been putting a lot of money into the house. From my water heater, which is paid off already, which is amazing to pressure washing my house, to lawn care in the spring and summertime and fall, and just things in general, you know? I mean, I've definitely been putting money into the house. But in terms of like my own form of cleaning, personal maintenance, whatever you want to say. She is cute. She looks like Aunt Becky, except she's not behind bars. Although, wait a minute, isn't Aunt Becky out of jail? Either way, I like her. Not her, and Becky. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Full House. So, there you have it, I bought a vacuum cleaner. I'm actually pretty excited about this, guys. Yes, I have that automatic one, which honestly, I don't even use, but nothing can beat like a physical vacuum that you use yourself, and I definitely need one. Like, I need one. Look at all this stuff. This is from Maui's little prism he likes to play on. Every day, he scratches it, every single day. Which I like, you know? It's good. I'd rather him scratch that than my couch or whatever. But I definitely need to vacuum. Gotta vacuum my steps. Look at this. Long, long overdue. Especially upstairs. Hold on, let me show you my gaming room real quick. And then I'll eat. I've had nothing to eat all day, guys. I'm so hungry. Look at all this random stuff. Another thing Maui likes to scratch. And over here. I'm not gonna turn my lights on right now, but you can kind of get a good idea of all the stuff that my Christmas tree left behind. There's my corner desk that was in my office. All this stuff is not staying here. This is just temporary, but this, this looks pretty cool, I think. Networking stuff on its own shelf. Pretty sweet. Gotta do laundry. Hey, Maui. You gonna run past me? Go ahead, do your thing. Yeah, upstairs, go, 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 upstairs. Go, 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 go. Okay. So cool, pretty excited about that guys. It's not that exciting to you, but to me it is, you know? My watch is falling off, I gotta, I gotta tighten it. I don't think I've tried these before. That guy is obsessed with his ATV. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's been a guy in the field out back. Oh yeah, you, you, you gotta see the lights way back there. See him? Yeah, right there. Anyway, I got these chocolate peanut butter Cheerios. Pretty cool. Got some cat foods for the keys. That's bad. I got one of these terrible for you pasta or ramen things. Every time I see this, I think of Korean from Black Friday. What was it, 20, 2018? 2019, 2018? 
because yeah, this thing's filled with sodium, just kind of making fun of me for it. I love them though. I don't, I don't have them every day. I don't have them every week. It's just an easy lunch. And this is kind of a treat to myself. As you may know, I don't really snack anymore. Really, I don't. Like I used to have Doritos and Cheetos and cheese curls and potato chips, all that stuff all the time. Hence why I'm losing weight, you know? Plus I completely cut out soda from my diet. But this is kind of a healthier snack. 100% whole grain French onion sun chips. I love sun chips. So I figured if I'm gonna get a snack, I mean, I might as well get something that's not exactly terrible for me like Doritos are. So this isn't too bad, it's not too bad. What did I get from Sheets? Guys, great question. You're always asking the right things, you know? Keep it up. Sheets is actually pretty quiet tonight. Got some jalapeno ranch for the cheesy bacon tater bombs. Oh my God, they're so good. They're so good. Stay tuned for that. And I got my usual, dear Lord. Got my usual chicken sandwich. Shout out to Tammy. I think you're the one who commented on my recent vlog. Pretty sure it was you. Either way, somebody did say, David, you need to try the cheddar, or the, the chili dog. That bothers me. I, I don't know what happened there. Whatever it is, I hope it goes away soon. I'm not a big chili fan when it comes to hot dogs, but because you asked, you know what? You receive. Let's do it, baby, let's do it. Not you, like, let's do it, baby. Let's, let's do the hot dog. Unless you're interested, you know. Seriously, here we go. If I can get it open, they're low and it's like a puzzle. Oh my God, this looks like a poop fest. This looks like an absolute poop fest. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. I asked for cheddar cheese. They completely forgot to put cheddar cheese on it. Oh, sheets. I love you guys. Yeah, shredded Colby Jack right there. You guys forgot, that's okay. Honestly, I, I guess I don't really need the cheese. It's, it's, it's the chili that really makes it, right? Cheers. Okay. Now, I think it would be even better with cheese, you know? Cheese and chili just go right, right together. Mmm. It's not bad. Not bad, Tammy, thank you. Um, I'm pretty sure Steve used to have these all the time. Not bad. And trust me, guys, I know. I know you're thinking, David, those look terrible for you. Yeah, do not get chili hot dogs if you're looking to eat healthy. This is just a snack, you know? Mmm. Mmm, okay. Not bad. All right. I'm gonna enjoy. Mmm. This right here is my pride and joy. Spicy chicken sandwich. Mmm. Always a safe bed of sheets. And the and the cheesy bacon tater bombs. Oh my god. Like they are so good. Oh. Good try, Sonny, good try. Keep in mind, I've had nothing to eat all day. Nothing to eat. So I don't feel guilty eating this at all. It's all about portrait control, you know? Don't eat just to eat. Eat because you need to eat. Hours later. Howie. Come on, Mamo. Maui. Don't embarrass me. Come on, Maui. What's he doing? Oh, there he is. Come on, Maui. Hi. Come on. <laughs> You're just gonna sit up there like a weirdo? What you doing? <laughs> I love this cat. He just stares at me. Hi. Come on, Maui. <laughs> You're so funny. You're funny, Key. Oh my god. Yo, good times tonight. Shout out to my dude, Devin. We got three wins tonight in Warzone. Better than last night, zero wins. Like, yo, three wins is pretty good, guys. Pretty good. Hey, Google. What time is it? 6.10. 6.10 in the morning. It's actually not that bad for me, considering I went to bed like 7, 7.30 in the morning yesterday. Here he is. What's up, dude? How you doing? Sheets was great. Loved it, as always. Guys, I am done for now. 
Look at this. Look at this. That is so cool looking. <clears throat> I gotta import you guys. All right. I gotta import you. I promise it won't hurt a bit. I'll see you later today. All right. All caught up on the vlog. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I say that because I didn't really do anything too exciting this week. I mean, for me, it's exciting. For you, you know, David, you're building a chair. You're going to Target. Blah blah blah. You know. Just keeping it real, you know? I'm, the, I'm no one special. Um, but I hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs. And no, I'm not even seeing the family this weekend. Uh, but I will be there tomorrow. So patrons, stay tuned. And everyone else, stay tuned. I will be there um, again next weekend. I've just been a homebody this weekend. Random comment just came in. Dave, I don't mean, Dave, I don't mean to be weird, but your cousin is gorgeous. Pass the comment on to her. Also, I've watched your videos for years now. And I absolutely love the traditions that your family has. Keep it the hard work. God speed. And that comes from the real John Kofi. It's not weird. Hey, it's a compliment. I've received far worse compliment. I mean, compliment, far worse comments about my family. There's a there's a lot of creeps out there. But dude, that's not that's not creepy at all. If anything, it's a compliment to our family. You know. If only I could get some of those good looks. Look at this piece of sh Okay, here we go. Come on, white balance. Work with me, baby. Work with me. It is not that yellow in here. While we wait for that to adjust, I'm going to check on my DoorDash order. Yes, Steven is at Strasburg Pizza. I ordered a medium pizza with seasoned ranch fries. There you go. Good job. Um, the seasoned ranch fries, little, little, little tip for you, are actually potato wedges which I found out accidentally the last time I ordered from them. Remember that? November 28th, it, it says it by order from them. Okay, you guys don't care. Anyway, to kill time, until my pizza gets here, I'm going to open up two packages from you guys sent to my P.O. Box. Thank you so much, Tanya. Um, there's my P.O. Box address in case you guys want to send anything. I'm not asking you to send, but occasionally I do get people asking. What is the address? There you go. P.O. Box 66, Strasburg, PA 17579. Maui, what are you doing over there? He's rolling around on something. This makes me think I'm getting like a, a report card or, or yeah, report card, the report card or progress report. I just came inside from the cold. So I'm, I'm going to use it as my excuse. But my lips are cold. My hands are especially cold. Just took out so much cardboard. It's Mars Trash Day. Yeah, it's all that autonomous stuff I opened up this week. Ugh. All right, Tanya. What is this? What is this? Sorry I'm late. Let's just blame USPS, okay? Tanya says, Dear David and family, um, like a thick white blanket, winter settles on the ground. Each tiny little snowflake gently lands without a sound. And a precious kind of peace abounds. The air feels fresh and bright. For now, to last, it's Christmas. A time of joy and delight. Peace, love, and happiness. May your heart and home be filled with a very special joy this Christmas. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Love, Tanya. Gemini Girl Gamer. Gemini. Tanya, thank you very much. I apologize. I'm a little late with that. I'm a little late. Gotta be honest. Th th this was sitting in my car for a little bit. But I promise any future packages will be expedited into this household and opened live on camera. Here we go. This one's from Amazon. And it is... It's an Amazon gift card. Whoa, hold on, hold on. There's no way this is gonna fit me. So I, I, I know it's for Kristen's baby. Guys, this is so nice of you. I don't need Google. My uncle knows everything. Wow. That legit makes me so happy. That is funny, dude, or do that. That is so cool. And this comes from Andy Seipel. Dude, Andy, you do too much for me. Hey, David, Merry Christmas from Andy Seipel. Andy, thank you very much. Fun fact, that lamp on my desk is from Andy Seipel, and I use it every day. Andy, thank you. That is really, really kind of you. Very cool. Please be DoorDash. Yes! Steven is approaching with your order. I didn't even get the alert that he picked it up. All right, sorry, I gotta, I gotta speed this up then. 
Although he's gonna put the food outside. I don't even have to answer the door. Amazon gift card, dude, beautiful packaging. Thank you very much. That is cool. That is so cool, Andy. Thank you so much, dude. I don't think it's classy to say the amount. Actually, I don't even know the amount. I'll just find it somewhere. But dude, whether it's a dollar, twenty dollars, whatever, thank you so much for the Amazon gift card. Oh, and the uh, the onesie, I guess you call it. Hey, David, as someone that has a niece and nephew, congratulations. I'm so excited for you and your family from Andy Seibel. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Tanya. You guys are too kind. I appreciate you. And of course, Happy New Year, and I hope you have a great 12 months ahead. My pizza should be here. I didn't even know he was here that fast. I didn't get the alert saying it was picked up. Yeah, I never got the alert, which means he forgot to say that he picked it up, which is fine. That's, that's a nice surprise. Yep, he's like right out front. I don't want to show my doorbell because it lights up. Hey, Google, show my front door. Someone's at front door. Oh, he's gonna ring it anyway. Nice. I just realized I completely forgot to turn the light on for him outside. That's okay, it's fine. I did the thank you gesture and he beeped, which is cool. I like I like knowing when, when the driver sees me pick up the order. And I like to thank him. Hi! How are you doing? Zero got into a little scuffle earlier with a fight. Yeah, with a fight. With a key. The evil cat. Hey, don't be biting me, dude. The heck? Oh, you're a good boy. Yeah. It's it's a play bite sometimes. Watch. Yeah, bite me. It's okay to bite. Good. Now you don't want to bite? Okay. <laughs> you're a good boy. Hey right, guys. Oh my god, I can smell the peppers. Oh. Wrong way, David. Come on. Oh my God, yes, half sausage, half tomato, and pepper. Dude, that looks good. Looks like it slid a little bit, but that's not a bad thing. That just means it's really saucy. And over here we have the fries, oh my God, which feel really hot. Last time they were really hot. Oh baby. Oh, oh, oh. It's too. I'm okay. Guys, I'm going to enjoy and then I'm going to sign off on the vlog. Lunch tomorrow too. Wow. I was not expecting to watch that tonight. What a good movie. I love when I find a movie that I wasn't expecting to watch. A movie I just hadn't even heard of and it was damn good and that movie is Greenland Gerald Butler who doesn't like Gerald Butler surprisingly good apocalypse movie and that's a big deal because let's face it there's a lot of bad apocalypse movies out there and I love the whole apocalyptic scene you know I love I love the idea of the world ending not for real I don't I don't want to die yet you know but in terms of the like, you know, movies and presentation, I love it. I love Armageddon, which is a little over the top. I think Deep Impact is a lot better. I love Deep Impact. And it's funny, not really funny, but they mentioned Ellie in this video, uh, in, in this movie, um, ELE, Extinction Level Event. This is only the second movie I've ever heard someone actually mention that. <sighs> Low battery. Imagine, hmm. Hold on, I gotta I got find my spare. I hate when tech ruins an experience. All right, I'm back. I found the spare batteries. They were in my car. They're very cold. This one's in the camera right now, so I don't know if it's just gonna shut off. Uh, but basically what I wanted to say is Greenland was a surprisingly good, emotional, impactful movie. Pun intended, impactful. And what's most fascinating to me is this. This will happen one day, a global 
extinction. It's, it's fact. It's science. It's physics. You can't stop something as huge as a comet of this size from hitting our planet. It happened once with the dinosaurs. It's going to happen again. Will it happen in our lifetime? Hopefully not. Probably not, you know? But the thing is, I mean, it's mathematics. Everything hits something at some point. Eventually, in the future, planet Earth is going to be in the path of something astronomically destructive. Let's just say that. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just throwing out facts, you know? It's going to happen. And that's what fascinates me most about movies like this. Um, it, it's the fact that we need a plan. Obviously, we do have a plan, and we have bunkers set up for a global extinction event, and that just blows my mind. Like, it, it's so cool to me. It, it's scary. It, it's very, very scary. Like, if that ever happened, I was just imagining from my perspective, like, what would I do? How would I act? How would I react? And, you know, who would I have to say goodbye to? And, unfortunately, our, our pets would die along in the process because they're not, you know, essential in the future of things. No offense, Maui. It just, it's scary. It really is scary. So appreciate everyone and everything around us while we can because tomorrow's not a promise, you know? Whether it's a global extinction event, losing someone in your family, getting COVID or whatever, like every single day is truly a gift. And that's why I love movies like this. It just opens up my mind and makes me think, what if? Because, well, guys, at the end of the day, it's not a matter of um, if this can happen. It's a matter of when. And that's what's amazing. That's what's amazing. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I don't mean to end it on the note of like, oh my God, we're all gonna die. Because keep in mind, we're probably not. We're probably not gonna live through anything like this. Um, but at some point, somebody will have to experience this. And that's what's eye-opening. So cool, so cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great week ahead. Be productive, all right? Get out there, be productive, get stuff done. And patrons, stay tuned for another super long exclusive vlog. I appreciate each and every one of you, patrons, non-patrons. You guys are awesome. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to wear that mask. And I'll see you soon. Peace. And watch out for comments, please. You don't want to be in the path of one. But if you are, there's really not much you can do.